So we are once finally back in Rigs of Rods. However, you will notice things look quite a bit different. Quite a bit better. It's because we're actually in a new version of Rigs of Rods. This is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, I believe is the exact version of the game. Things look shinier, things look nicer. I never got a chance to show off this truck in the other version of the game because, uh, just, I don't know why, but this is the 2015 version of the Barbarian. And I'm on the Barcelona track, uh, fuck, I can't remember the name of the racing series, it's one of the, uh, uh, it's one of the series run by the people from the forums, the simmonsters.com. They run it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a test drive on this track. reset button now, it doesn't just, you know, reset the truck exactly where it is, it actually lifts you a nice distance up off of the floor. So, yeah, that's helpful. That's one of the new features for this new version of the game, and I quite like that slap wheelie. But yeah, you go all the way around once, and here would be the finish line. This ramp here, you can see the little checkered flag thing there. That probably would have been a lousy performance. I would have lost that one. Oh well. We're just here to have fun and demonstrate some things. Another slap wheelie. exactly how good this track would be for freestyle. There's not exactly a whole lot to, uh, Another thing that you may have also noticed about the game is that you don't have to shift into reverse anymore, which is actually something that I kind of hate. You also notice that the trucks seem to be a bit bouncier. Those rubbery tires are quite bouncy. So you're going to be noticing more slap wheelies at home. This is the bad thing about uh, the new version of the game is 
because there's actually not a whole lot of tracks available right now. Uh, people have been kind of working on, uh, because for some strange reason, you can't just use the same files for the old version of the game. Apparently they switched to a different file format or something for the new version of the game, so you can't use the old ones. You have to take the old ones and use like a converter to convert the files into the new file format so that they're compatible with the new version of the game. All the old trucks seem to work, which is funny, but the tracks don't, so you have to get new versions of the tracks. And there's not a whole lot of them uploaded right now, and the ones that are uploaded, a lot of them don't have pictures, or the pictures that they have don't work. Like, they use sites like Photobucket or whatever to upload the pictures, and the, the, the pictures are outdated, and so the pictures, they aren't there. Or it's like broken links or whatever, so it, you can't really tell what the tracks look like. And that's kind of crucial in knowing which ones you want to download. Unless you know them from the previous version of the game, and you already know. But I never really took to memorizing them much. Big jump. have to shift. It's fully automatic transmission. If you hold down the brakes, you'll automatically go into reverse. And I actually think that kind of sucks, because sometimes you just want to stop the truck. You don't want to switch into reverse. Oh. Oh, broke something. Broke something in the rear suspension. What is that? that? That's something right there that I actually really like about this truck is these weird little L-shaped, uh, these little things right here. I don't know what those are called, but these little L-shaped things. Usually on most trucks, they're straight. Thing. But on this truck, they have that weird little L-shaped, or that kind of an arch shape to it. I'll reset it here to fix her up. actually kind of like this track. I think it would be good for racing. It'd be kind of like the, uh, the first track that I showed off.
actually a little bit kind of silly here is the finish line's over there, but then right here is where you exit the track to, to get off the course. So if you have a bunch of different trucks and a bunch of different players queued up, you have like a line going down this road to queue into the, uh, into the actual track, because this little hole in the wall over here, this is the only way in or out of the track. Have the guys come over here, and then they would probably move down and around something like this to line up. And that's the other thing: the starting lines are kind of offset. You got the blue one is this here, and then the red one is over here. And since the unevenness of the track, it makes sense to do it that way, actually. I do like these tracks that have the multi uh, tiers or the, mul the multiple levels. You go up a level, it's, it's really small, but it's still cool. Oh, that would have been cool if I could have cleared it Ooh. into the bus. Yeah, let's do the track backwards now. See how well that goes. Somehow save that. So I'm trying to do something here with this ramp over here. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I could have swore if I hit the ramp going fast enough, I could do a backflip. Ooh, nosedive the shit out of that, and she tumbles. Well, I can't bring her back from that, so I gotta reset it. Somehow save that. Yes, I've actually been working on my driving since the first video. Learned this little trick. It's not too friendly to the truck itself because it will tear up those back suspension parts. Like a lot. something I actually want to see in real monster trucks is I want to see them figure out how to make the trucks do a barrel roll. 
and it wouldn't even be all that hard. You just have like a ramp like this, but it would be kind of skinny, so you would only hit it with the one side, and it would just throw the truck into a barrel roll, and somehow they would get it to land. Not like that, though. something in the suspension again, and she's done. Yeah. I've been meaning to get back into this game for a while. I've actually tried to record a, a video two or three times over the past several months but because of my video recording software or the limitations of my computer, I don't know which one it is, the videos just haven't come out right, the sound quality isn't there or the video quality isn't there. version 0.4.5.1 I believe this is the most recent stable version of the game uh, it actually has a main menu now which is cool so you have a main menu where you can load into your track and then you load your truck I believe the main menu even has, has options for multiplayer, so apparently they're working on getting that in, which is cool. But yeah. Once again, it's 
sim-monsters.com to go to the site for all the track and truck downloads. Um, you have to go to rigsofrods.com to get the game itself. And you can also find a bunch of other stuff for the game there. But if you want specifically the monster truck stuff, you need to go to the Sim-Monsters. Now, I think there's a banner up somewhere that says it. Maybe not. Anyways, so yeah, this has been Rigs of Rods. Once again, this is the newer version. really hoping more uh, of the tracks get re-released for the, the new version so we can have some fun with those and then hopefully maybe I'll be able to uh, join some of the other guys who do the, uh, the racing and stuff. Or maybe I'll just do some freestyle videos. I don't know if I can get some more tracks with some decent freestyle. I have only one other track, and it's the Anaheim track. I think it's 2014. It's supposed to be a replica of the actual Monster Jam track. But yeah. This is the Barbarian 2015. It looks really nice. I really like those L-shaped thingies on the suspension, or whatever part it is, I don't know. Some kind of limiter for the suspension, so it doesn't drop out too far. But yeah, looks great. Especially in this version of the game, it's real shiny and everything. So yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more rigs of rods.